everyone, I'm Brina Retre. Yes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this episode, I'm gonna talk about a bag that I don't see a lot of women carrying here in the Philippines. But it's a bag that I believe has always been on your wish list. who are not familiar with the brand, I'm just going to give you a quick background about the Loewe brand. It originated from Spain, I think way back mid-1850s. Here in the Philippines, the Loewe brand just came here sometime early this year. It opened its doors at Edsa Shangri-La in Ortigas. I'm in touch with one of their sales associates and they say that aside from the hammock, the puzzle bag is one of their fast moving sellable piece so the one that i'm about to show you or the one that we're going to review right now is one of their most sellable colors this is the tan color and this is almost always sold out let me begin by telling you something about the quality of this bag i think it's worth the price because it's very, very durable. The moment I touch the leather of the Lueve bag, I can already tell that it's a quality material. It's made of thick leather and it actually smells good. Hands down for the design, it's really a standout. Whenever you bring this out in the crowd, you don't see a lot of people carrying similar bags. It, it looks like a puzzle and that's how it got its name. Just look at this. It's like a couple of puzzle pieces carefully put together as for the dimensions let me get it right for you for the small size is 9.4 in width 6 inches in length and 4 inches in depth for the medium it's 11.2 inches in width 7.5 inches in length and 4.8 inches in depth so what fits inside? Actually, a lot. Even if I put all of my daily essentials inside the bag, there's always room for a little more. Let me show you what's inside my bag right now. Sorry ha, hindi kasi ganun kaganda yung pouch ko. Actually, I got this as a free item from Cebu Pacific in one of our flights. So, so this is my makeup kit. This one is my glasses. And of course, my Balenciaga wallet is also here. Um, my earphones. Oh! <laughs> I also have here something special. The toy of my daughter. Somehow it found its way inside. So. Those are the things that's inside my bag right now. But I can tell you that there's really a lot more space inside. It's like a bottomless pit. What are the pros and cons of the Loewe puzzle bag? Let me start off by telling you the pros of this bag. I would have to say first and foremost is the design because it's something different. It's understated because it doesn't have the loud monogram prints that you can find in, for example, Louis Vuitton. It also doesn't have the blings, like for example, the studs on a Valentino rock stud bag or in a Balenciaga bag. It doesn't have those flashy things, but then it gets the attention of other people because of the elegance and the beauty that it speaks of. Let me show you something. I hope I still get to give you a review about this Loewe hammock bag before it gets sold this is actually mine and i got this brand new from a store in spain so this loewe hammock bag can be worn six ways versus this loewe puzzle bag which the internet says can be worn five ways but i beg to disagree because I can wear this six ways also. I'm going to show you. You can use it as a shoulder bag. Something like this. Yes, I'm fond of using it these days whenever I'm out in the mall. And it comes.
comes with an adjustable strap so that's already two ways of wearing it you can wear the strap longer or you can wear it shorter so that counts for two ways another way is to wear it as a handbag or as an elbow bag if you don't want to stress the handles or the the strap too much another way to wear the bag is a backpack I'm gonna show you this it has a D ring at the back of the bag and you can strap or you can clasp the silver hardware to the D ring at the back and wear it something like this something like a backpack you can sling it over one of your shoulders or you can also wear it as a backpack crossbody so that already makes for what one two three four five so that's already five ways of of uh, how to wear a low heavy puzzle bag and another interesting about this low heavy puzzle bag is that you can also use it as a clutch imagine this thing can also work as a clutch all you have to do is to flatten the bag like this now for the price please allow me to use my código here i don't want to give you false information i'm a journalist so i should always get things right for the hammock small size it's one no sorry sorry for the puzzle small size it's 135,500 pesos here locally for the medium size it's 153,500 up to 157,500 depending on the material now talking about the cons i would have to say while it's an amazing bag to see because of its beauty because of its unique style i would have to say that there's something wrong about the zipper because it has an awkward opening there are lots of times that you get to reach inside the main compartment of the bag maybe looking for your wallet or looking for your um lip balm or your cell phone and it kind of makes it hard to look for your things inside because of the small opening this is the medium size and i'm not too happy with how it opens so what more if you're getting the smaller version of the Loewe bag, then the opening would would definitely be smaller than this, making it more difficult for you to look for your things inside. Also, aside from the awkward opening, I would have to say that this flap here, while it also adds to the puzzle design, it's kind of irritating for some people because you need to open the flap before you can zip and unzip your bag so if i were to rate the bag in a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the highest i would have to say anywhere from maybe 6 to 7 um, stars why that low score in spite of the beauty of the loewe puzzle bag it uh, somehow kind of failed at the practicality or usability of the bag um for me whenever you're carrying a bag the first and foremost thing that you should consider is the usability or the functionality of the bag the style always comes second because at the end of the day no matter how beautiful your bag is if it kind of makes you inis na lang by the end of the day because it doesn't um or it's not comfortable to use you don't find it practical to bring along with you it defeats the purpose of buying something as expensive if you don't feel happy using it lagi kong sinasabi whenever you buy designer items make sure that it's something that you're comfortable to wear and carry by the way before i forget the loewe puzzle bag that they have these days the one that you can buy straight from the mall it's kind of different and um it's kind of different already in style this one is the older version i think they updated the design of the bag sometime in 2018 so i think my cousin had this way back um if not 2016 2017 
but she got it straight from the Lueva store. What makes it different these days is that the new version of the Lueve puzzle bag doesn't have this D ring anymore, which is. <coughs> <coughs> me for that so as i was saying the newer version of the loewe puzzle bag doesn't have this d-ring anymore which kind of makes it sad because then you, you can't use it anymore as a backpack because it's only the d-ring that allows you to make it look like a backpack or as a messenger bag another thing about the newer version of the loewe um, puzzle bag is that it no longer has this feet so as you can see, this older version has four feet, which helps you protect the leather of the bag whenever you put down your, your bag, maybe at the restaurant or at the counter. And one more thing that they altered for the newer version of the puzzle bag is the strap. Let me show you. This one is the older version of the strap, and this one has this thick portion here which kind of helps balance the bag and at the same time it prevents the strap from getting twisty or tangled up because the newer version is just one long strap like that so i don't know why loewe what's the reason why loewe changed its version but it's kind of sad because they removed a couple of features away from the bag and the bag just keeps on appreciating its price so there you go thank you thank you so much for watching if you want me to review a certain bag and it is my daughter awake come on come on come on i'm gonna show you to my friends so my daughter just woke up this is my daughter and she just turned five years old say hi to everyone <laughs> she has a couple of designer bags she has a humble collection can you tell me what's your what, what's your favorite bag what's the brand tired tired okay but do you want to show them your bag collection or maybe later on okay so let me wrap things up because uh, my daughter is still sleepy and i want to cuddle up with her if you want me to review a bag or you want me to help you self-authenticate a designer bag, please don't hesitate to comment below or to send me a message via my social media pages. My Facebook account is Brunadette Reyes. My Instagram account is Brunadette Reyes. And my Twitter account is also Brunadette Reyes. Please do subscribe at my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. Once I reach the 10,000 mark, there will be one lucky subscriber who will get to shop with me at the LV store. I think most probably in Greenbelt because that's where I usually go. And that's a promise. Thank you, thank you so much. And have a good day. Bye! To see more of my upcoming videos, please click the subscribe button.